Today we shall be upgrading my oscilloscope because it started to shock me. Like if I put the uh, one inch of my multimeter into the ground, set it to the AC setting, and put the other pin on there, you can see there's 60 volts of AC. Because I can't touch it, otherwise it'll shock me. So first off, it's a Philco oscilloscope from about 1940 to 1955. I don't really know for sure when it was made, but here's one side. It runs off of, uh, I think it runs off six tubes. So three on this side and three on the other side. Now up here are your contacts. For This is basically your vertical um, input, I think. Don't really know. We'll have to figure it out. I've messed around with it sometimes, trying to get trying to get it to register, but usually the signal is so faint on the screen, it's not really worth it to use it. Then over here we have a power cord I added. I, had, I added this about two years ago. Basically, I couldn't find the power connector for it because it's a uh, it's just probably a, uh, some long dead power connector, so I just put a cable in through these holes in the bottom and I wove, wove it around and hooked it into the thing and it worked out pretty good. Oh, I guess it's five tubes. It's only two tubes over here. Then up on the top, you have the connectors. And this is this is the main problem that it gives me is I have no idea what kind of connector that is. So, so I, I, I always have to go on the insides of it and connect to the, uh, the wires in order to put input into it. Although, the horizontal sinks are just little twisting, uh, like pull connectors. They have a, a nut where you tighten the nut down on the wire. So I've only really been able to use the horizontal one. You have, this is your vertical side, and this is your horizontal control, and this is your, your, your volt multiplier. So first off, what we need to do is we need to add a grounding plug. I have some secret wire I found in the garbage, and I will run it through some of these holes into here, and I'll solder it to the base. So, it's connected with the grounding cable now. This is the grounding cable. It goes and connects to the frame. See, right now it says 66.1 volts. Now it's grounded. Slight sparking where it grounds, but it does ground it out. So, like, see, I can, I can touch it now. So, I now have the speaker wire connected into the inputs, and I have made two connectors. I have a small one, a ground connector that I'll clamp onto the ground of whatever circuit board I'm working on. And then I have this other wire where only this part is exposed. The rest is all covered with duct tape so it can be a uh, handle. It should be like a gentle curve, I think. Well, I call that a working oscilloscope. Now I can get back to work on this board. I've been working on this for like a week and a half. Hopefully I get it fixed now. But anyway, thanks for watching. Bye! Thank you.